Good morning dolls and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So today we're going to be making little girls dresses with scraps and remnants and pieces of lace. Now if you haven't seen the dressing mini babies or dressing little girls video I will leave links in the description. Now if you're new to the channel these are going to be specialty items in the dress shop dollhouse but let me not say too much. So I'm using an old tablecloth that I had made for a table that I decided not to use the tablecloth in that way anymore. So I cut the skirt part and just kind of smushed up the fabric with glue to make it look like a skirt. Now keep in mind dolls, these dresses are not going to be wearable dresses. I'm creating them to be glued directly on the hangers because they'll hang around the dress shop and in different places as props in my scene. So I'm taking another piece of the tablecloth and cutting it into the shape of a sleeve. Now I'm just kind of shaping it a little bit and I'm going to add glue to create a seam on the sleeve before I add it to the body of the dress. Now dolls disregard my haphazard cutting. I'm actually salvaging again as I mentioned a piece of an old dollhouse tablecloth. I thought the fabric was really pretty and the lace was pretty and I was no longer using the tablecloth so I thought it would really make a really cute dress. Now that's the collar. I've cut out the neck. And here I considered adding the accent lace. Now dolls, sometimes working with a project like this, you get way too many ideas all at once. So you have to focus and stay on course and don't bite off more than you can chew. Now, if you can kind of see, I made the two sleeves. I've got the collar like laying literally on top of the skirt. Now you don't have to make this complicated dolls. You don't have to make an actual garment. You can make the pieces and glue them together on the hanger. Now I want you to watch as I assemble this on the hanger. Now I originally considered using a already made mass produced hanger but I realized this was for an adult garment and it really wasn't the right size for children. So I found some spare wire in my stash of supplies and shaped it into a small hanger for my dress. I'm not sure of the gauge of this wire but I'll find something comparable and leave a link in the description of this video. But I'm sure you could use a Christmas tree ornament hook. Now I'm using the hanger I just created. Now I'm adding the sleeves to it first. So I just kind of opened them up and put the sleeves, actually glued them directly to the body of the hanger. And you see me adding additional glue to make sure it's secure. I added the little collar directly onto the top of the hanger. Now I really want you to pay close attention here. This is a total glue setup. I'm putting glue all the way around the collar around the edges, the part that's going to fit across the shoulder, and then I'm assembling it on top of the sleeve and bonding it right to the portion that I set up to be the skirt. And when you get everything arranged, you just want to squeeze it so that the tacky glue takes hold of the entire structure. Now you need to allow your completed dress to dry completely before you go further. Now after it's dry, you can go ahead to add any kind of trim or extra embellishment that you like. Now I'm using this little trim that I use on so many other doll dresses and I'm just putting a little bit around the collar to finish that off because I didn't hem it. So you just want to lay whatever lace or trim you've chosen directly onto the glue. Now you do want to adjust it again so it'll look finished. You don't want it to um, be left sticking out. Just press it into place until the tacky glue catches. Now that dress is really starting to look cute and I want you to notice that the sleeves, I gathered them with a needle and thread just so that it would look like puff sleeves instead of like a bell sleeve. Now here you just see me playing around with a little applique that I have and I use it on so many things but I thought it would look really pretty in the center of the bodice of the dress to really just brighten it up and give it a really really cute little dainty little girl look and I am really pleased with the overall look of this dress. It was literally made from the scraps from an old tablecloth that I stopped using in the dollhouse. Now this is a beautiful piece of lace that I was given and I cut it into the shape of a skirt, just kind of a bell shape for the body of the dress. And then I cut another piece to create the shape that would look like a collar as well. I cut a hole for the neck. Now these are very simple designs. Little girls dress designs really haven't changed over the last hundred years. Now dolls, I'm working straight from memory and imagination from dresses that I wore as a child and remembering dresses that I purchased for my daughter when she was a child. And if you need inspiration, there are some lovely pictures on Pinterest. 
Now, after I've added tacky glue, I did press it in really good just to get it nice and solid. I made another hanger, and then I added the dress directly to the hanger before I began to finish the dress off. Now, I did add glue across the bodice of the skirt shape and then added the collar to that. When the body of the dress was dry, I did a little stitch to make the sleeves look puffed, and then I added pink trim around the bodice to create the illusion of a collar. It actually isn't a collar. I'm just making it look as though there's a separate collar. Now you can kind of see on the edges where I gathered the corners of the sleeve to make it look puffed. And I really thought the pink trim added a nice contrast and really gave the dress quite a bit of detail and definition. Now I want you to pay close attention how I took the trim all the way around to the back of the dress. I didn't cut it until I got to the portion that I felt like the dress should end on the back. And when I cut it, I took it across the middle of the back to make it look as though the bib or the collar went all the way around. Now after I added the piece of trim to go across the back to create the imaginary bib, I trimmed off the excess. And I used another piece of the pink trim to add to the hem of the dress to complete the look. Now that I've added all of the trim to the dress, it definitely is, is beautiful, but I still feel like it needs a little bit of detail. Now, although I really like that little applique that I used for the other dress, it's too big for this dress because this dress is for a smaller child and the dress, it just looks overpowering and the color is off. So I started to just play around with some of my ideas. I tried some nail art, but that didn't work. But then I found another tiny piece of trim that had some little pink, green, and white on it. And when I snipped off a little piece, it kind of looked like a flower. So I added a little glue. And just like that, you have a lovely little dress to go in a girl's room, a nursery, or in a closet. Now again, I had some leftover pieces and I made another hanger. This was a portion of a dress that I started to make several years ago that I didn't use. Had the little poncho part made, then I created a little skirt. Now I did gather it at the bottom, just like I do the adult lady skirts. But this was going to be more of kind of a drop waist dress. So after I got it gathered a little bit and straightened it out, I glued the skirt inside the bodice or the little shirt part of the dress. Now, after I got it all arranged and glued inside, I allowed the glue to set before I went any further. So I pulled out my clover iron and went on to find some trim that would work. Now, I had some lovely trim that I thought would look nice, but it was a little bit wrinkly. So I used my clover iron to smooth it out. Now, keep in mind, dolls, the clover iron will get unforgivingly hot and I only use it on cotton fabrics. This was a lovely lace, but it was cotton, so it was able to take the heat from the clover iron. And after I got it straightened out where I could really see the design of it, I realized that it was going to be perfect for what I wanted to do with this little polka dot pink dress. Now, I took a small piece of the lace and just kind of laid it over the shoulder near the collar, and I thought it would really look nice to really bring out the, the colors in the dress, so I trimmed it so that both of the pieces would be the same length. After I trimmed off the pieces to the desired length, I added glue to the collar area and then gently laid the lace trim along the area that I just added glue to look like a little collar. And after I added the two pieces of the collar on both sides of the opening of the neckline, I trimmed off the excess in the back. At this point, I really decided to feel really good about the dress, and I decided to use that very same trim to create a sleeve. Now, after I decided to use that trim to make a sleeve, I wanted to make the sleeve a puff sleeve. So I ran a straight stitch along the edge where the arm would be and tightened it up to make it look like a puff sleeve. And I did do that on both ends of the sleeve to make it look as puffy as possible. And then I just glued it inside the sleeve opening of the body of the dress. Now I'd already closed up the body of the dress, so I did have to kind of rip the seam a little bit to open up the area to put the sleeve in. Now I'm gonna just let this play because I'm doing the exact same thing for the other sleeve on the other side. I closed up the seam and I ran the straight stitch on both ends of the little piece of trim to make it look like a puff sleeve. Now dolls, when you're making children's clothes, 
you can definitely have a lot of fun and use a lot of imagination because sometimes children's clothes are rather comical. Use your imagination. Be willing to play. You're going to have to play with the different laces. You may have to sit and stare at some of the laces and figure out what do they look like? What, what, how would they go together good? Or how would these colors and color combinations look on a little bitty small body? Now I want you to look at what I'm doing here as an example. I have that same piece of lace. And I just had to play around with it to see what I could come up with. You can see here, I tried several different things to just see how it would work best. Until finally the idea came to me to slightly gather the little piece of trim. And so I ran a straight stitch around it, but I didn't pull it tight like I did for the sleeves. I pulled it just tight enough that it would fit inside the hem of the skirt. And after I did that, I added tacky glue to the inside hem of the little dress and then I placed the partially gathered little piece of trim under the skirt. Now you will need to make little adjustments to it to make sure that it's laying even all the way around. You don't want it to be lopsided or crooked or anything but try to make it as neat as possible and make sure that it's tucked so that it completely camouflages the top part of the trim. So now that the dress and the sleeves are complete, you just want to do your finishing touches. So I took a small piece of pink satin ribbon and wrapped it around the part where I added the skirt to the bodice. I made a little bow and made the strings a little bit longer and added a little dot of glue to the front to give the ribbon the illusion that there's some weight that the ribbon is actually hanging. Otherwise, the ribbon pieces will just stick out. And I thought that looked really cute for the back of the dress. So I turned it around and added the same piece of the little tiny pink ribbon to the neckline of the dress. Now again, this is just plain ribbon. I just tied it in a tiny bow, cut off the excess, just trimmed it so it would look nice and neat so it wouldn't look overly long. And I did the exact same thing. Added a little glue right under the neckline and then press the tiny bow that I had created right in place. Now you see how the ends are sticking out. You don't want it to look like that. So I'm going to use that same little technique and add a little dot of glue to the front and just press the ends of your ribbon right into the glue just to cover it up. You don't want it to be so heavy that it's showing, but now it gives your little ribbon the illusion that it's hanging. So I thought that was a really nice finishing touch dolls. And there you have it, a lovely dress for an older girl. Okay, I didn't make this, but it's just cute. I wanted you to see it. So there's one more thing I want to show you before I let you go. I want to show you a really quick hack for putting shoes on a really tiny baby doll or any doll with really small feet. So I put glue around the ankle and added a little satin ribbon. Now this is a pink ribbon because her dress is pink. And after I closed the ribbon up around her ankle, allowing it to dry, I also added tacky glue all the way around the perimeter of the foot, all the way around to the heel, and then added a tiny piece of the same satin ribbon all the way around the foot. Now after you have the tiny ribbon around the ankle and the foot, this is how it'll look. Just make sure the ribbon overlaps in the back so it'll look as though it's closed. Now I just want to show you here I use the exact same treatment on a smaller doll. The exact same thing. Now when it came to the sole of the shoe, I cut out a tiny little petal out of the pattern of a piece of lace that I had and this was it and it fit perfectly on the bottom of the baby's foot and then I cut another tiny piece to lay on the top across her foot to make the shoe look closed. So it was a ribbon and two tiny pieces of lace to create a shoe for a baby. Now when it came to the doll with the pink shoe I did use a pink of piece of pink lace. Now it didn't have a petal. It actually had a piece of flower. So I cut out a tiny piece of flower from the lace. Let me show you here. That would fit to the shape of the bottom of her foot. And I did the exact same thing, adding a little glue. Now if the piece that you cut out and glue is a little bit too big, allow it to dry and then trim off the excess. Now you should go ahead and continue and do the process on both feet. And try to make sure that the pattern of the little petal or flower is the same so that the bottom of the shoes will look identical. Now my two pretty little girl babies are dressed and have shoes on and are ready to wait until they're introduced into the lives of the rooming house. So if you've enjoyed this video today, definitely let me know in the comments. Also like, share, and subscribe. 
And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.